Over the top to Barry. He brings it down to the box. Barry the shot. Barry the goal. Barry finds the back of the net. And Colorado Springs on top for Castro looking for the cross. Puts it on his right foot near side just outside the box. Shows off the footwork. Crosses towards the right post. And it's saved by Dante. A fake back to the left. Here's a shot and the goal for the Blue Jays. They take a 2-0 lead off the front of Jackson Castro. A chance maybe for Creighton here. Dominic breaks, crossing the box to his left foot, to the middle, hitting the turf. No call as it, it was uh, O'Malley hitting the ground. Blue Jays still have possession. Crossing pass, looking for McGuire. And it's cleared by the Red Storm. Watson in possession. Now Propo, he crosses towards the middle, off the head of McGuire, and it's sent back outside the box. Couple chances for Creighton, and now the Red Storm clear. As Cruz was waiting for it, all the way at the, the one third of the field marker. Crowd trying to get the Blue Jays into it. Four minutes and 20 seconds left. Provo tries to turn. It's kicked away. Knocked back by Provo. As the Red Stormer bringing the defense back and making life tough for the Blue Jays. Crossing is Briggs. He's looking for the pass. Double team just outside the box. Now circles back. Watson. Reset to Ventura. Watson, met by Ashrafi. Over the top, pass in the box to McGuire. McGuire puts it back on the left foot, crosses in the middle. August had a look for a second, but it was closed by the back line of St. John. That had the angle too, but Red Storm defenders in the way. August, and it's a sliding tackle that will roll near the corner. I'd say it's a throw. They saved it from going over the touchline. A long throw coming in for Watson. MVP tonight has been the Red Storm back line, all four of them. Watson to the front. On the foot of Brings as he sends it center field to Ventura. Big left footed kick oh, is over the top of the crossbar. That's not what you want right there. Substitution on the field in for St. John's number 24. Yellow cards galore in the second half. Five alone on. Uh, the Red Storm, and then Creighton as well has been guilty of uh, a couple as well. So you see some contact there. Yeah, the intensity, some extra grabbing. Some... Oh yeah, it's just uh, gotten real physical, and it's been to the benefit of the visitors for sure. Maybe part of the strategy, too. Red Storm are up. They can afford to be a little more physical, try to waste more time. Another player goes down. It is Briggs. No call. No whistle. Crowd wanted it. Now you get another whistle, and it goes against the Jays. The crowd's going to lose their mind here. A foul against Creighton. No card, but a foul. And that gives the Red Storm a chance to slow things down and have a set play here off the kick. Okay, about 20 more seconds here at least. It's on Duncan McGuire. Let's watch that again. Yeah, pushed off the ball there. Definitely a shove. Could have been a foul on Ashrafi. McGuire came up and got him from behind, and that's where the whistle was blown. I think maybe with two minutes left, Blue Jays might have one or two solid opportunities. There haven't been many of them today. 14 shots for Crane. But only three of them have... Bet on goal, three saves for Foley. And now the Red Storm really trying to, to waste time is chipped down to the corner. 90 seconds for Creighton to make something happen. Let's see if it's gonna happen right here. As a Blue Jays off and running at midfield. Castro crossing back to his right. Quick pass over to Prompa, down to the corner. As he gets it to Briggs, Duncan Briggs. Dominic Briggs, excuse me, trying to cross. Back out to Popo just outside the box. And he hits the turf oh my in the box. And this will be a chance for the Blue Jays. Holy cow. 
a penalty kick coming up for Creighton. At least that's what it appears right now. Yeah, that's the call. That's the call, and Duncan McGuire is going to be the man to take. Let's watch. Well, that's, boy, if you're uh, watching this back in New York, you have every right to be with it right now. Just inside the box. Gosh. Maybe Probo kind of threw that left shoulder back. It was close. Looks like maybe some contact on that right foot. And now Duncan McGuire, a chance to even the match and force potentially a draw. The junior from Omaha, Nebraska, leader in goals this year with seven. Had one in the 81st minute against Villanova. Ryan Foley on the other side, looking for his second straight clean sheet. Second in conference in points, the junior McGuire. Trying to even this match at one apiece. Foley his hands up in goal. The whistle, the kick, the goal for McGuire, and we're tied at one. Duncan McGuire hit eighth goal this season. 